Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In the previous Python exercises, we just built BMI, body mass index calculator. We also built a basic calculator in Python using some if else conditional statements. Now we are going to do the same thing, but this time we're going to build a calculator using functions. And this is pretty interesting. This is the best exercise where you can learn everything about functions. If you missed the previous exercises, the link of the playlist will be in the description. Go and check it out. Yeah, as always, open your VS Code text editor. This is my favorite, as I said every time. Let's create a basic calculator using functions. The calculator that we are going to create will perform four operations, which will be addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And these are the basic operators that we use in mathematics, right? So in order to build a basic calculator, you need these four simple operations. So let's go and do it. So I'm going to create four methods. So one is method for addition. And the second one will be method for subtraction and the third one will be method for multiplication and the next one will be the method for division method for division done so we are gonna create these for functions using Python functions concept. I hope you all ready. Then start code with me. So yeah, let's build function for addition. It is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. All you need to do is you have to create function. If you don't know about the function basics, then there is a playlist of Python basics and you can go and check it out. And also I'll post the link in the description where it will be easy for you guys to go through it. So there are some set of rules that we have to follow in order to create a function. First and foremost rule in order to create a function is you have to give a keyword called def. This is nothing but a keyword which tells to the interpreter that you are defining a function. So def give the function name. I'm giving addition and give two parameters a and b and what are we gonna do in this is just return a plus b for example if you call addition 1 comma 2 what it does is it will replace a with 1 and b with 2 and it will return 1 plus 2 so the same thing goes with subtraction let's create subtract function as well df sub Fraction. You can even give sub if you feel it's boring. Same. A comma B. Return. A minus B. It will just return A minus B. And done. A plus B, A minus B. We are done with addition. And we are done with subtraction. And let's do multiplication. Follow the same rules and set of methods. Follow the same set of rules and methods. DEF multiplication. I'm going to just copy this and paste it here. It saves me time. My God. Just return. A into B because we are doing multiplication. That's it. Same thing goes for division, but instead of A into B, we're gonna give A by B. Right? This will be division. Let's copy this and paste it here. A by B. And that's it. So in this way, we will create functions. So here we have four functions, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Now we have four basic functions of the calculator, but in order to use these four functions, we have to create a menu to the user so that user can understand that we have four methods and he can choose whatever method he wanna implement. So let's create a menu. So this will be menu. So in menu, we're going to just print the four options that we have. So enter.
addition. We'll use slash n to just go to next line so that it will be easy for the user to read. Subtraction, I'm just going to copy this one. Slash n, and third one will be multiplication. And fourth one will be division. Now we have menu ready, right? Now let's take input from the user. So for that, I'm gonna create a choice variable. So choice is equal to input, input, enter your choice and done. If for example, if user gives one as addition, we have to perform addition, right? Same thing applies for subtraction, multiplication, and division. Now let's take two numbers from the user. If you want to perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, we need two inputs from the user, right? As we did that before in the previous exercise. So same thing we're gonna do here. So a equal to int of input, let that first number will be a. Obviously we need integer to do calculations. Take input and at the same time you can print the string that you have and you can take the input from the user at the same time and that input will be in string format and we're going to convert it to integer and we're going to store that in a variable called a so input enter the first number enter the first number and let's take second number as input as well This will be second. And this will be B. Yeah, done. We have two numbers as input. Now, what if user gives addition as the choice? So we're gonna create a conditional statement. So if choice equal to one, okay, let's give yeah, now choice equal to one. We're gonna print addition of one comma two. Let's see what's happening here. If choice equal to one means if the choice is addition, what are we going to do is we're gonna call the addition function, which is here. So what are we doing? We can we are calling addition function with two arguments one and two and two these two arguments are copied into these two parameters and it will return one plus two. What is one plus two? Obviously three. So here three will be the output. The same thing goes with all the three three things like all the three other functions. If the choice is two, we're gonna call subtraction. If the choice is three, if the choice is three, we're gonna call multiplication. If the choice is four, you don't have to give one and two here. You can give a comma b, right? How can you decide the input one comma two? That's just for example I gave, but the actual inputs will be a and b because we don't know what input user gives so we have to perform according to the user input so for that we're going to use a and b and if the choice is four we're going to divide two numbers for division and yeah that's it okay what if user gives the input that is beyond this list like one if choice is one add choice is two subtract choice is three multiplication four is division what if user gives five or beyond that we have to tell to the user that this is the only limit that we have and you give invalid number what are we going to do we can just give else here print Invalid choice. 
But in order to make this else word, like all these if conditions are not linked together, like if this is completely different from this. So we need a thing like if, for example, if this condition is not working, we have to go to this one. How can we link all of these conditional statements so that this else can work for us? We can use elif instead of if. So let's do elif here. So elif works this way. Like if this is not working for us, it will go to this, later to this, later to this. It will check all the conditions. If all of them are wrong, then it will go to else and it will print invalid choice. Let's see. Now let's save it and run this program to see how it's working. So here, as we expected, it is asking us four options to choose addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. So let's choose multiplication. So enter your choice. I'm going to enter three. I'm going to give first number, for example, five, second number seven. Yeah, it is showing the output seven, five, so 35. So the answer will be 35. It is performing multiplication. Let's rerun it and try for subtraction as well or division, whatever. You can play with the numbers here. Let's rerun this one. Let me clear this one and rerun. This time I'm going to choose division. For example, 10, 5, 2.0. Wow, that's cool. We need a float number for division. Nice. What if we give the choice that is beyond this limit? Let me see. Let's rerun it and give choice this time 5. Anyway, it'll take number. You can change the code if you want. Invalid choice. It is giving us an invalid choice. You can even rewrite the code in such a way that if the choice is out of it, you can just give invalid choice before taking the input as well. I want you to try this thing as an assignment and let me see like how you'll do that. I'm really curious to know. Try this one like give input, enter your choice. If the choice is five as well, it is taking two numbers as input, right? Instead of taking two numbers as input, it have to display invalid choice. You can even explain that the way you did it in the comment section. I'll be active. And yeah, that's all for today. I'll see you. If you like the video, then hit this cute little like button. We also have other platforms as well. We are active in Instagram. We are active in Facebook. You can even follow us for more updates. If you are new to my channel, then subscribe to my channel. See you in the next exercise.